Hi everyone, Dr. Blake Bloxham from Feather and Bloxham Medical. Just finished a long week of surgery and I figured this would be the perfect time to film one of these patient results uh, walkthrough presentation videos. So uh, today's video is, is going to feature three main topics. The, the first topic is a bigger FUT procedure after an FUE that was less than ideal. Number two is um, a very, very soft, natural hairline on a patient. And number three is wearing your hair short after a hair transplant. This can always be a little bit of a tricky subject. Uh, this is an example of a patient who, because of the approach we took, was able to wear his hair short. So let's jump right in and go through this patient's case. So the gentleman, and I'm going to pull up the picture here right now. Uh, as you can see here, gentleman in his early 40s, I first saw him about three years ago, four years ago now. Um, he was in his early 40s at the time. And as you can see from this image here, he had basically thinning all throughout the frontal half of his scalp. He had a little bit of a retained tuft there in the front, uh, but that was starting to thin as well. So what I told this patient was, look, my recommendation would be to do a big strip procedure. Let's go in, trim up that tuft, knock out the entire frontal half of the scalp, you'll be in good shape. 2,500, 3,000 grafts, this is what I would recommend. He was a little hesitant. Um, he had had some history of, of scarring that, that wasn't ideal, and he was a little hesitant about the entire strip harvesting in general, and so he asked, can we do a small FUE? I said, look, you, you can. I even, as you can see in this picture here, drew on some lines of a little potential FUE you could do. But I said, in the end, I think you're going to be a little bit underwhelmed. I think the result from the FUE may be a little less than we want, so you know that's what I'd recommend. Um, patient went about his way. I didn't see him until about three years or so later. He came back and told me that he actually did, uh, in the, the interim, have an FUE procedure. So let's jump right in and go through uh, the second time I saw him. So this was right before we did his surgery. Okay, so the first thing you're going to see here, this is that picture again from the initial consultation. So this is him before the FUE, and this is him after right there so he went to another clinic got a 1500 graft FUE and as you can see it was not bad it's just like I said it's kind of underwhelming you know the, the FUE is a little weak a little stringy um, it's hard to get that nice big density with FUE we don't always hit our numbers it doesn't always grow the way we want so he came back and said look I'm ready you know let's do the big strip I want to do this this properly so I said no problem uh, let's let's do it I think that's a good plan so that's what we plan to do so what you're gonna see here next is uh, the, the preoperative planning, the morning of surgery. These are our lines here. So we're following his hairline. I like his hairline, uh, but we're just going to densely pack out that frontal band, as you can see, and then strategically fill back in that middle to really knock out the entire frontal half of the scalp. That's what he needed done. Uh, and you can see even in these images here, some of the stringy, weaker FUE. This is after we were done with the 3,200 graft FUT case, works beautifully. What you'll see next here, these are the images 10 days post-op. Just wanted to show how nice it looks, how full, rich, and thick after that big FUT procedure. Okay, so I next saw this patient back nine months after surgery. First thing I'm going to show here are some images. So this is just how he walked in off the street. We'll let you guys see these. Okay, so here we go. So first thing I want to mention here, just look how soft and natural that hairline looks. Next thing I want to focus on, look at the comparison between the FUT here and the FUE. You can see that FUT, and obviously we did more of it, but that FUT has that thick, rich, strong look to it, whereas the FUE just doesn't quite look as, as good. Um, another thing too, and as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, look how short his hair is. It's not always advisable to wear your hair that short after a hair transplant because it has to be packed and they're really dense, but he was able to pull it off. Not only that, those sides are short. You know, he was worried about the FUT scar, but those sides are pretty darn short there, but beautiful transformation. Okay, and last thing we'll do here, let's jump into the video. Okay, here we go. So again, first things first, just look at how, how nice the transformation is. And you can see a little comparison shot there. And remember, that's with the FUE. The, the images you're seeing here, the comparisons, that's after he had 1,500 FUEs done at an outside clinic. Um, and again, you know, first thing I want to mention is, is just the softness of that hairline. I broke this patient's hairline up a little bit more uh, than I, I do sometimes, just because I thought he had the right hair type for it. I thought it made sense for him. Um, so that's the first thing I want to focus on. Second thing, look at just that nice, full, rich, complete look. Remember, we worked all the way back to about midway there, and it looks great. You know, he looks just like a, a, a guy who has a nice, normal, appropriate head of hair for his age. He told me, and here we'll comb through this hairline here, he told me he has uh, many, many people who work for him, and not a single person has, has noticed or said anything about a hair transplant. I don't think anybody would ever think that's a hair transplant. It looks beautiful, even with it short. And remember, hair transplants, when they're worn short, can lose a little bit of, of that, that oomph 
because you lose the layering effect. When they're short like that and the hairs are standing up straight, they have to be packed in dense. We pack that in densely. And also look at that nice soft broken up hairline. So what we'll do now is a little bit of our wet comb through, not as much as we usually do. It's not quite as fun with the short hair, but just let's show what it looks like wet. This is basically what it would look like if you jumped out of a pool. So even with short hair, it holds up, which is fantastic. And last thing we'll show here is the scar. Um, so he ended up with a great little scar. You can see he still has some temporary shock loss. That pink under the white line is, is temporary shock loss. That's gonna resolve, but that hard little white line there, that's the scar. So I think that his fears of an FUT scar, thankfully, were not a problem. He has a great little scar. He can still wear his hair short. I don't think that'll ever be an issue for him. Okay, so thank you for watching the video. I hope this was an interesting one. Um, as usual, I am Dr. Blake Bloxham from Feller and Bloxham Medical. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching these videos. We love making them. We're going to continue to make them, and we will see you in the next one.